All right, we're here for another toy review, and I got something off the shelves a couple of days ago. Hey guys, Timster's here again for another unboxing and review. This time we are going to be talking about the newly released Winter Soldier from the Crimson Dynamo Black Widow movie wave. So it just arrived here in the Philippines, Metro Manila, uh, last week. So I was able to get my hands on Bucky Barnes. If you don't know him yet, he's the sidekick of Captain America and turned into a super spy for the Russian government called the Winter Soldier. He was brainwashed and turned against his old comrades. It was just depicted in this classic storyline, The Winter Soldier by writer Ed Brubaker and artist Steve Epting, which was released in the mid-2000s. I collected that line in singles format and it just so happens that Bucky is the only character that I haven't completed in his evolution from sidekick to this and to the new Captain America during Brubaker's story and run in Captain America. So let's get to it. I'm going to be unboxing this guy. Let's see how he holds out and so far it looks pretty good. So let's see. So for those who don't know who Bucky is, in the short gist, he is the sidekick and teen pal of Captain America. And they fought together in World War II. For a long time, he was thought and presumed dead at the same accident that brought Steve Rogers into suspended animation. But later, during Ed Brubaker's run of Captain America, which is here, Captain America the Winter Soldier, he was revealed to be alive and turned into a Soviet assassin called the Winter Soldier. He got his memories back thanks to the Cosmic Cube. And long story short, when Steve Rogers was thought to have perished due to an assassin's bullet, he became the new Captain America, took up the shield to fight in the name of his best friend. So that's the short gist of it. But now, we are going to take a look at this. Okay, from the box alone, here's the Winter Soldier. Comes with two weapons. There, a handgun and an assault rifle. And in the back, as I showed earlier, there's a description, but we didn't take a close look, now we will. Winter Soldier is a fierce combatant and an asset in battle, no matter which team he fights for. So yes, his cybernetic arm sports the American star, instead of the red Soviet star, when he was brainwashed as the Winter Soldier, but he has that head, that long, unkempt hair, and the domino mask without the white eyes, but his real ones. So that's just a peek. We'll look into detail and we open him. But here's the rest of the Crimson Dynamo wave. There's the big build a figure or bath. And the rest of the figures included in this set are Taskmaster. Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff, her fellow Black Widow, sister, Yelena Belova, their fellow Soviet warrior, the Red Guardian, aka the Soviet Captain America, and of course Winter Soldier, Crossbones, and Spy Master. The latter three make up characters from the comics, these four from the upcoming movie. So let's get to reviewing Bucky and unboxing him. Once again, I'd like to thank Hobby Corner for having this figure, the last one, in the display when I picked it up over at their store without the bath. So this is a pretty hard to find figure right now in the department stores. Yeah, he's the most sought after in the Black Widow wave. So let's get to opening him and see what he's got. Take him out of his box and here we have the figure. And his clamshell with his two weapons and accessories, and there we go. Okay, Bucky, stand still. There we go. Take out his rubbery assault rifle with a grenade launcher and his handgun. There. Okay, upon closer inspection of the figure, 
All right, he has everything that you'd expect from a typical Marvel Legends figure. He has a ball joint on the neck, so you can turn them 180 degrees, up, down, you can look up, and oh, he has a torso, and you can also pivot him left and right. Standard arms, which you can move, elbow joints right here, and there's swivels. And no interchangeable hands, but there it has the trigger hand. Sadly, there's no fists with this figure, so both Winter Soldier hands have to be holding the weapons. Or, if you're a customizer, you can make some interchangeable hands for him. These are removable. Well, there you go, there are pegs. But good luck if you're not going to customize any hands. You're going to have some empty flesh hands instead. And yes, you'll have to look for a robotic hand. There, he has a Holstead gun. Okay, I'm looking at this and it's unremovable. Okay, I'm going to add that to my thoughts later at the end. Let's continue looking. Standard leg joints for the knees. And then also here, the thighs, you can swivel them. And of course, the legs. The engineering for Marvel Legends has improved over the years and their face printing technology as well. So it's a very decent Bucky figure. All the armaments for Winter Soldier, including the ammo pack here in his chest, the harness. He has a knife, uh, all the utilities of a mercenary slash assassin. So there you go. Let's try putting the assault rifle. It's very bendy. Okay, I will add some more comments at the end of this review. So far, yes, you can make him into one tough badass, which he is if he's not wearing the Stars and Stripes or wielding Captain America's shield. Yeah, we're gonna put some comparisons later on with the other Marvel Legends figures, including good old Cap. Lastly, we're gonna put the handgun. All right, here's Bucky Barnes, AKA Winter Soldier, all decked out and ready to kick some ass. And clearly you can see why he's a sought after figure. Now we're going to put him next to Captain America and see the height difference. I think Bucky, yeah, they're just about the same height. Put those two together, go face to face. Yeah, you're going to recreate some pretty epic scenes from the Brubaker run. And if you're fans of Chris Evans and Sebastian Stan, these are not the movie versions, but yeah, you can direct some quotes. I'm with you to the end of the line. And who the hell is Bucky, which was lifted from the Ed Brubaker Winter Soldier run. So, yeah, looking pretty menacing, Buck. Come back to your senses. Fight side by side with your pal, Steve. And there you have it. Captain America and the Winter Soldier looking pretty badass together. Now that these three are posed together properly, we can make a visual comparison. And they come from three different generations of Marvel Legends releases under Hasbro. Bucky was the first, then next was Bucky Captain America, and now we have the latest incarnation of Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. All three look good depending on how you pose them and if you do some toy photography like me, they're gonna look badass whatever way you pose them and uh, present them. Now that we got the showcase and presentation out of the way, it's time to look at the concerns for this figure. And my first major concern is just being stuck with one head. I mean, it's fine. It looks like a typical traditional first appearance Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. But I wish they had an alternate head with shorter hair and an alternate head with white eyes instead of exposed eyes in the domino mask. Yeah, well, a small thing probably for other collectors, but for me, it would, helps to have options. Next, we have a handgun which is stuck here in the holster. I mean, 
he already has a handgun hold it's stuck you can't put it anywhere there's no holster to put it in so two handguns one that's stuck here I guess if you take it out it's fine it looks as if he holstered the weapon but still the fact that there's no extra hand to make it into closed fist or an open hand means it's always going to be stuck in the trigger finger position next so much other stuff here and there's no knife I mean it's Winter Soldier. He should have at least a combat knife that you can use. Uh, I guess they already gave two weapons. An assault rifle with grenade launcher and this handgun. So overall, it's not a bad figure. Plus the height discrepancies. I mean, as compared to earlier Marvel Legends releases, this is obviously taller than Bucky Captain America. Well, you get what you get. So my final verdict. And wrapping up this review of the Winter Soldier from the Crimson Dynamo Wave, aka Black Widow Movie Wave. It's okay, it's decent, and it goes nicely with the 80th Marvel Anniversary Captain America figure here. They look great. I give it a 4 out of 5. I mean, missed opportunities with the holster, alternate heads, alternate hands. Those are just some minor issues, plus the height discrepancies. He might be a tad too tall. As compared to your other figures from your former Marvel Legends collection, as I showed, he's taller than Bucky Captain America, right there. But overall, decent Winter Soldier figure. And I urge you, if you don't know the character, please pick up Ed Brubaker's Captain America Run. Please pick up Ed Brubaker's Captain America Run, starting with Volume 1, The Winter Soldier, which is available at your local comic shops. Badass especially if you're a Cap fan. So thank you for watching. Please do follow me on social media. I'm at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, here on YouTube, and Twitch. So follow me if you haven't yet, and please hit that notification bell. I'll be back with more updates, reviews, just talk about anything in the pop culture spectrum. You can also follow me at my blog at popculturecrusader.blogspot.com, and I usually update every time at my Facebook page, T-I-M-Z-S-T-E-R. So I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.